and for once they're actually in a relatively visible position. Let me try to get Jandre into a good spot. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love these owls. They're so thoroughly entertaining. There is number one looking at across at us in its sort of normal form. And then if we look a little bit to the left, I don't know if Chandra is going to be able to see it. There. The one that looks like a stick. <laughs> the one that looks like a stick, all drawn up and... Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to try and move back so that you can see its face because they're such innately entertaining birds. Let me try, Jandre. It's just... What do you think? Backwards, maybe? Or forwards? Forwards. Morning. <laughs> A white-faced owl also known as a white-faced scops owl, not to be confused with an actual scops owl, which is a different thing altogether. And I think probably one of the funniest birds that we get out here, just in terms of the sheer facial expressions that they adopt. And of course, it, it helps that they've got those amazing moustaches that run down the side of their face. I don't know if you'd call it a moustache, they're actually rictal bristles false ear tufts and of course that amazing ability to change shape as they do they sort of draw themselves up and become long and it's a it's a technique shared sh shared shared by the northern faced or northern white faced and the southern white faced owls they both do it draw themselves up and sway slightly from side to side to make themselves look like a stick rather than the very obvious owl that they are <laughs> Morning. They're always in this tree. That's why I was hoping they were going to be here. Now, a pack of animals. Yes, indeed, it is a mated pair. They do live in mated pairs, as do all of our little owl species. Just hold on one second, sorry. Uh, we've got some white-faced owls here, if you want to have a look. Sorry, just letting the vehicle that was coming past us know that there are the, this wonderful pair over here. So they might come and join us now. Uh, yes, they are a mated pair. As to which is male and female, I'm not entirely sure, although she looks very disapproving. Perhaps it's her, or perhaps it's him looking particularly austere. And I don't know whether or not they have a nest in this tree. I'm not 100% sure. I've been looking to see if there's any pellets on the ground or anything like that. And we haven't had any luck so far in terms of figuring it out. I reckon if they had a nest in here, it would probably be in one of the hollows. But I honestly haven't seen any sign of a nest. <laughs> 